Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines. Age gap relationships are nothing new in the Philippines and some age gap relationships may be 10, 15 or maybe even 20 years difference. But then that's where we move into the large age gap relationships of 30, 40 and sometimes even 50 years. The difference between usually a Western man and a Filipina. Age gaps from 10 to 20 years while deemed more acceptable by society, those couples will undoubtedly tell you their stories of them being judged by many other people. The whispers, stares and sly comments are reasonably common, especially as you get closer to the 20 year gap. Not to mention how people might stereotype you and your Filipina by saying things like, he obviously can't get a woman in his own country or she's a gold digger. What could she possibly see in him? But as I say, judgments and stereotypes come with the deal when you're in an age gap relationship with a Filipina. But for most of us in such relationships, we just ignore the narrow minded people who can't see that two people from different countries who are born a decade or two apart may actually in fact care for each other and love each other just like any other couple who may be in a relationship around the same age as each other and that in itself is quite astounding to me but then it's much worse for couples with a 30 to 50 year age gap and I'll give you my new perspective on this in just a moment Just quickly guys, for those thinking of finding a lovely Filipina online, be sure to check out my affiliate link in the description below. If you're going to date a Filipina online, then the best place to start is with the Philippines number one dating site. Many of our community members and viewers have reported very good success with this site. So again, the link is in the description below and it's free to create an account and view thousands of profiles. For those of you that have followed my channel for some time will know my thoughts on large age gaps and by large I mean 30 to 50 year age gaps. Now we all know that old men in their 60s, 70s and even 80s do seek out young Filipinas in their early 20s to marry. And even to me, you know, I'm in a 20 year age gap relationship but I've always thought that anything much larger than that, you know, being 30, 40, and especially 50 years was so wrong. I mean, what possibly could a young, beautiful Filipina see in an old man who may only have a few years to live, but that was my view, and like all of us, I was entitled to having that view, but things like this that make no sense to me, I like to think about and find out what makes people tick and why they do the things that they do that make little sense to other people. After all, when you think about it, I highly doubt that a few short years ago when these girls were teenagers that they grew up envisaging marrying an old man from a western country. And I highly doubt that at that time of growing up they had posters of old men on their walls. And really the same can be said for this old man who may have been married for 40 years before his wife passed away uh, or a man who was married 30 years before his wife left him. These stories do happen and they're quite common. So these situations for men can be very traumatic. As a result, the man's thinking can totally change. After all, it's highly unlikely when these men were in relationships with their wives that they ever seriously contemplated ever being with a 20 year old Filipina. Well, unless they are in a short fantasy state. Now remember, a man that has been married 30, 40 or 50 years has only known that one woman all that time. Now sure, some have had affairs or whatever, but I'm talking about living with one woman under the same roof as husband and wife. Now this man who's in the twilight of his years or very rapidly approaching it is very lost. All the things that his wife did for him now, he must now learn to do for himself. For many years he would sit on that lounge chair and his wife would keep him company and they'd be talking for hours on end. She was his companion in life. 
way after the sex had slowed down and had become not important as it was all those years before. Night after night, week after week and month after month he misses his wife and he is absolutely lost. And it's only natural after the grief is eased that he doesn't want to be lonely and he really needs someone to keep him and his house organised. After all, he can only eat canned food and frozen meals so many times. So this guy with what seems to have endless hours every day with nothing to do starts to think long and hard and he looks on YouTube channels and maybe even some friends have told him about Filipinas or maybe he's a friend or once knew somebody who married a Filipina and so he decides that the Filipina could be a very good solution to his loneliness as she'll make a good companion and also a solution to keeping his house organized and of course cooking some decent meals. He sees so many pluses in finding a Filipina but because of his declining years he thinks he'll need a younger Filipina because an older one wouldn't be able to help him so much if he becomes incapacitated or bedridden at any stage. And yes, some of you are thinking that he may just be a dirty old man looking to get it on with a young woman and live out some sort of fantasy. And yes, for some guys that might be the case. But for guys like this who marry a Filipina with such a big age gap, if that's all he wanted, then he would just take a trip to Angeles City every so often and do what many sexpats there will do. So I do believe it's far less about any physical thing with a young Filipina and more about filling his other needs that his wife previously did for him for so many years. And let's face it, by the time most men hit their 60s, 70s or 80s, they really don't care about what people think about them. So... They jump in on the computer and start searching online for dating sites. So that's my take on the side of things which I believe is driving factor for many of these old men. But what about the Filipina? What would make a young, vibrant, fun-loving and beautiful young 20-year-old Filipina marry an old man who, yes, could be her grandfather or even great-grandfather in some cases? Now, I certainly acknowledge everyone's different and who knows, maybe some young women in many countries all over the world may have a thing for a very old man. Just because you and I can't see it as logical doesn't mean it doesn't happen. But yes, if it does, it's only very few. So thinking about the vast majority of young 20-year-old Filipinas who marry a guy 40, 50 years her senior, What's her driving factors in doing this? And this is where you've really got to start to think and try and put yourself in this woman's shoes. One of those factors, to me at least, is nothing new. And most people would think of it straight away. And that is, it's an opportunity to go to a first world country like USA, Australia, England, Germany, and lead a life that she's only seen in the movies or on TV and maybe heard so much about it. Many Filipinas and Filipina people in general have this idea in their head how great these countries are and her only opportunity really to ever get to experience a better life in this country is by marrying a man who is a citizen there. So in essence what she wants is to have a better and more secure life as she understands her future in the Philippines may be one of very long and hard struggles. Then she's got in the back of her mind, she's hearing her mother's voice, who has for many years told her to find a man in a Western country to marry. You know, from the time she was just, you know, walking, or you know, pretty much the mother's pushing this into her mind. Because the mother wants her daughter to have a better life than she had for herself. And of course, as many Filipinos do, we'll see the Westerners as rich people. In the mother's mind, that will mean her family will be well looked after once her daughter marries this man and lives and works in his country. So with this sort of pressure from the mother over many years and the want for a better life and possibly being made to feel guilty by the mother or the family, or even both, 
she agrees to marry a Western man no matter how old he is and even accepts that well, she'll need to be romantic with him as any wife would be with her husband. And who knows, but I do believe that with some of these relationships that if the man has treated the young Filipina well, then she may over time start to develop some genuine feelings towards this man. She may end up caring for him very much, but I really can't see how it would ever be a romantic and a passionate love. And that's really something that this Filipina has been willing to forego in order to get a better life with more security and really not to disappoint her family and to help her family have a bit of a better life as well. Now let's face it, the reality is that when most people see a 70 year old man walking along with a 20 year old Filipina, they won't stop and think things through the way we've discussed this issue here. They'll look, they'll see, and they will judge without any consideration as to what each of those people in that relationship have been through in their life before. It's when we start to try and understand a little bit that we can see how this can actually happen. And still whilst you and I may not agree with it or do it ourselves, we can still be understanding of it. After all, they're certainly not hurting me in any way and they're consenting adults, so who's to say? And to top it off, people tend to think they know everything about everyone, but the reality is we don't even know what type of relationship they're even in. Some relationships with such big age gaps have what I call a business type of relationship, and that is no sex is involved. The Filipina gets to marry the man, come to his country and live and work there and have a much better life. She gets to send money home to help her family and she looks after this man by keeping the house tidy. Cleaning the house, cooking his meals, washing his clothes and all other domestic duties. His previous wife would have once done for him and now he has a companion and not a lover. So right there is the trade-off or the business arrangement and really unless we're in the same situation who knows what we might do in, in desperation or when things get tough because who of us can actually say we've lived in true poverty and knowing the only way out is to marry an old man in a western country and we certainly don't know what the young woman has been through in her life so really none of us can say what we would do because we've never been in that situation I know some of you may not agree with what I've said, but remember, I'm not saying we have to say it's all good, but at least to be a little bit more aware that things aren't always what they seem to an outsider, and we can never really know what would drive us to do something unless we have experienced it for ourselves firsthand. I'd like to know your thoughts around this, so please leave your comments below, but be respectful and certainly no abuse, swearing or attacks on anyone in our community as we have a zero tolerance for that sort of thing. So if you found the video interesting then please give it a big thumbs up, share the video with all your networks and subscribe to our friendly community if you haven't done so already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate all your support, take care and bye for now.